Hi guys, welcome to lesson 18 homework. So we've been practicing um, the standard algorithm, as they call it, for subtraction in class. And as I told you, your parents are probably going to be like, ah, this is the way I know how to do this. So they're, they probably can help you out with this too if you get stuck. But let's go ahead and walk through some of the problems together. I'm going to remind you that you have a homework helper on page 157. That's 157. There's a 7 in the 1's place, a 5 in the 10's place, and a 1 in the 100's place. You got it. All right. The homework helper continues on page 158, and we start our lesson on page 159. That's 159. Lesson 18 homework. Now, I just went through your last couple weeks of work that you turned in again. Um, and there were some no names, not quite as many as I usually get. You're doing so much better, but please take a moment and write your name down. You can do today's date too. It is either March 1st or March 2nd, so 3-1-21 or 3-2-21. All right, you're going to do, let's circle these, A, B, C, D, E, F, on page 159, the rest are bonus problems. So go ahead and give those a shot if you have some extra time. And on the back side, page 160, go ahead and turn your page, number two. And then three A and B will also be bonus problems. So let's flip back to page 159. Pause at any point if you need to. We're gonna do A through, well you're going to do A through F. I'm gonna do a couple of these with you. Let's see. Let's start off with letter A. Let's get a little bit closer here. There we go, that should help. That straightens it out for you. 70 liters minus 46 liters. Again, don't let the L for liters confuse you. You don't need it until the very end when you need to label your problem again. What does liters measure? Does anyone remember? Liters measure liquid. Yeah, very, very good. So we have a ones and a tens and a ones and a tens place in both numbers. So we can stack them. And as we can see, they both align here on the right side, right? And we're gonna subtract. We're doing standard algorithm, so we're stacking and subtracting. We're borrowing if we need to. Now remember, we're starting at the top and saying zero minus six. We're not saying six minus zero. Zero minus six. If I have zero dollars, can I buy something that costs six dollars? Absolutely not. There is more on the floor, right? Six is more than zero. More on the floor, go next door. So we have to borrow, you got it. This seven, we're gonna borrow from it. What's well, one less than seven? Six, it turns into a six, you got it. And we're giving it a 10, right? Because we're going from 670 down to 60. We're gonna cross off the zero. We're gonna write the number 10 up here, right? <clears throat> now, 10 minus six, can you do that? If you have $10, can you buy something that costs $6? Absolutely. How many is left over? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, four. Oh, I didn't draw my line in here for you. There you go. 6 minus 4. You can do that. 6 minus 4, count up from 4. 5, 6, 2. The answer is 24. Now, what I'd like to see, and maybe on a second piece of paper, maybe you need a piece of scratch paper to continue this. Let's see, do I have something here I can use? I think I have a sticky note. I sure do. Let's go ahead and check our work. How do we do that? What's the opposite of subtraction? The opposite of subtracting is, is addition. You got it. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. 24 plus, right, the opposite, 46. And if we did it right, what should it equal? 70. Yeah, because if we take apart 70, we better put it back together and have 70, right? If I have $70 and I only spend 46, I should have 24 left over. 
So if I put it back together, I should get back to 70 again. 4 plus 6, let's see, we can go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 looks like this. There's a 0 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10's place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 plus 3 is 5, 6, 7. Do my numbers match? 70 equals 70? Yep, we got it. So I want to see you checking your answers as well. And you can just turn that scratch piece of paper in too. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number B, right? Ooh, ones place, tens place. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place. So we need to be careful and make sure that we stack these numbers up. Whoop, 370. So the zero's in the ones place, right? Which number in 46 is in the ones place? The six, yep, so the six has to go right underneath the zero. And then the four can go in. And then we can simply subtract. We have our ones place, our tens place, and our hundreds place. If I have zero dollars, can I buy something that costs six? No, there's more on the floor. Go next door. We're gonna borrow from that seven. And it's gonna become a six. The zero becomes a 10. Now we can do it, right? 10 minus six. Oh, we did that over here. 10 minus six is four. Pause your video at any time. Six minus four is two. And three minus nothing is still three. Oh, we need a label, leaders. This one too, leaders. Now, remember we built these in class. We took that tens, what was it? That chart like this, remember? And it had ones, tens, and hundreds. You could still do that here if you want to. How many hundreds do you have? One, two, three. How many tens did you have to start with? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many ones? You have none, right? 370, I have none. So if I wanna take 46 away, I know I have to take one of these tens and put it over here. One ten makes how many ones? 10 ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, right? Now, can I take 46 away? I can, I can cross off six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can cross off four tens, one, two, three, four, and no hundreds. What am I left with? One, two, three hundreds, one, two, two tens, one, two, three, four ones. Does that equal 324? Oh no, there we go, sorry. You could see me crossing things off, you couldn't see my numbers. So. You may also do your problems like this. Let's take a look at, let's see, where's one that we have to go over twice? Is there one? Ah, let's look at F together. 918 minus 553. Okay, I'm gonna do this one this time. Hundreds, tens, ones. We're gonna build this first number. We're gonna build that first number. How many hundreds do I have? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do this on a scratch piece of paper and pause your video whenever you need to. How many tens do I have? Just one. And how many ones do I have? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna subtract 553. How many ones do I have? Three. Can I take three ones away? Yeah, I have enough. One, two, three. How many tens? Five. Hmm, do I have five tens? No, I don't. Can I borrow from the hundreds? I sure can. How many tens is 100? 10 tens, you got it. So cross off one of your hundreds and give it to the tens. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now can I take five tens away? I can. One, two, three, four, five. And can I take five hundreds away? I can. One, two, three, four, five. How many hundreds do I have left? One, two, three. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five. Three hundred and sixty-five. All right, so there's two different strategies to go ahead and get that done. If you're still struggling with standard algorithm a little bit, take out a scratch piece of paper and draw your problems out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the word problems together. Your job is to complete number two. I'm going to help you set it up. All right, number two. The magazine weighs 280 grams less. Oh, that's an important number. Less means subtraction, right? Then the newspaper. The weight of the newspaper is shown below. How much does the magazine weigh? Use a tape diagram to model your thinking. Okay, we want to solve this problem and we want to use a tape diagram to help us. So which weighs more, the newspaper or the magazine? The magazine weighs 280 grams less than the newspaper, so the newspaper weighs more. Take diagram, 454 grams. This is the newspaper, right? Now, the magazine weighs 280 grams less. So, two pieces of it. One is going to be 280 grams, right? This right here is the magazine. How much does it weigh? Yeah, we're going to use subtraction. And our bigger number always goes on top. 453, or 454. One, two, three numbers. One, two, three numbers. We can stack them. We don't have to worry too much about lining them up. Good. Make sure you don't steal from the bank. Make sure if there's more in the floor, you borrow from the hundreds, okay? You have enough in the ones place. All right, go ahead and give it a shot, and we will have another chance to practice this concept in the classroom, and you'll have another chance to practice it from home. You got this.